So I've literally been sick all week, man. Like I, I went to work on Monday and I was all right. I, but I felt a little bit of sickness, you know, coming on. Come Tuesday, Wednesday, dude, I was out, bro. I was completely out of commission and wasn't at work. Tried going back to work on Thursday and I just wasn't having it. I ended up leaving early on Thursday. And then today is now Friday. And once again, I woke up this morning just not feeling it, bro. So to say the least, I haven't got absolutely anything done on the car. I came out here and I started to assemble the headlights. I'm like, I can at least get the headlights put together, you know what I mean? And then these damn clips, both of them, both these freaking clips broke, dude. That these little plastic guys. And this is what the what this adjuster actually goes into. So that kind of left me screwed, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have to try to get these clips off the donor car all back and hopefully not break those ones as well. One good thing that came out of this week though is my friend Junior hit me up and he had an OBD2. Uh, alternator and an OBD2 distributor and he also he also gave me these man when's the last time you guys seen a set of these <laughs> uh, that's funny I don't know we might use it on the sedan until we get some good coilovers who knows fortunately this is also the 8 pin it's not the 10 pin that we need so I don't know um, yeah, that one's not gonna work either. I, I still gotta do basically the same thing and get a, a 10 pin. I gotta get a 10 pin plug, dude. But I can't find these, man. If anybody knows where to get this plug at, uh, please hit me up on Facebook or comment down below. Uh, I need the alternator side. See, I'm, I'm able to find this exact plug. You know what I mean, the harness side. But this, uh, this isn't what I need. I need the side to actually that goes on the distributor so I can depin uh, these OBD1 clips or yeah depin these OBD1 clips and yeah you guys know what I'm saying anyhow we're gonna take this distributor and we're gonna go warranty it in Today's gonna be kind of like a vlog, man. Uh, I haven't been able to make any content throughout this week, so I wanted to just make something really quick and get up for you guys today. Uh, I'm recording this today, and I want to post it today just to just to stay relevant, bro. I hate going so long without a damn video. Most certainly, let me know down below. Uh, put it in the comments, man, whether you guys appreciate this type of video or not. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably will, but I know a lot of people probably won't. Can't make everybody happy, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I'm gonna be spending today just trying to prep myself for the weekend. Um, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm ready for this weekend to get a lot of stuff done on the Civic, you know what I'm saying? So tomorrow my cousin's actually supposed to be coming down and giving me a hand uh, just, to, just to get more hands on the car, you know what I'm saying? Try to get more stuff done. Because I... IFO is coming on the 27th. It's, it's right around the corner, man. And to be honest with you, I don't feel like the car is going to be able to make it to that. Um, but... We'll see. We'll just we'll have to play it by ear, see how it goes. First things first though, I gotta go up in here and get my hair cut. Fixing to go in here and get my freaking hair cut because it's been a minute. Um, there's this chick in here. She speaks absolutely zero freaking English. Like she doesn't speak a single word of English, but yet she's the only one that understands how to freaking cut my hair, dude. Every other barbershop I go to around here, I tell them low, I, I tell them medium fade. I tell them medium fade and, oh my God, what the hell is that guy wearing? I tell them medium fade and the back of my head, you know, the, the fade goes all the way up to the top, dude. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you going so high in the back? And if I, so then what I'll do is I'll tell them, medium to low and then they give me a freaking taper and i'm like i don't want a damn taper i don't know this is the only person i can find that actually knows how to cut my hair and it's funny there's a freaking language barrier and she even can figure it out
And just like that, bow haircut. I always wear a hat anyway, bro. I don't even know why I get my haircut, but it's just, I, I don't like all the hair sticking out right here. So I get my haircut, I throw my hat on, and that's it. <laughs> Rallies. Just pulled up to O'Reilly's. Gotta go inside and visit Antonio. See if uh gonna use that alternator that we got as a core and trade it in because we gotta get a shiny new one. You already know everything goes on a khaki civic, it's gotta be shiny and new. Antonio shirt. Thanks again, Antonio. Whoop. I got some. Uh, I got Antonio coming through once again, bro. Uh, his manager was in there right now, so we had to kind of chill with the recording. You know what I mean? Didn't want. It. Didn't want to be weird or get Antonio in trouble or anything, but we got the new alternator. That's definitely a plus plus. Brand new, shiny new. And it's OBD2, so it's gonna plug right in. We ain't gotta worry about nothing. Um, now we're off to the mall, dude. Gotta go to the mall, go pick up t-shirts. Better put my damn seatbelt on before one of you guys start chewing me out in the comments. Hey, Paul. What's going on? Are you at the shop? Yeah. Are you? I figured, why not? We're in the neighborhood. We're really close to Sick Industries right now. So um, while we're doing all this running around, may as well stop by the shop, see what Paul's got going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious to see, because I saw his post on Facebook that he's gotten a lot of progress done on the intake manifold, which I think is one of the biggest things as a holdup to get the 2JZ Civic done that and wiring and stuff like that but uh definitely a big step in the right direction you know what i'm saying so wanted to stop by and just see how it's coming you know what i mean so i accidentally put my camera in some kind of weird ass setting that i can't get it out of but we made it to sick industries and here is the 2jz civic that you guys have all been asking about it's still here still alive well it's not alive yet almost <laughs> Are you going to walk us around, Paul? As best I can. <laughs> Down to mounting the throttle plate, or, or the throttle body, onto the front of the intake and then weld it out. You got to talk about the whole intake, dude. They yeah. haven't even seen this. Uh, well, I didn't like the intake that he brought me because it was big, bulky, gaudy, and didn't fit. So I redesigned it to flow and to fit inside the car, so we're using. Yeah, the other one was like, you're having right fitment there, issues we, here. We and modify it all here, which would have lost the flow. I think the throttle body was gonna be like sticking out of the hood, right? Yep, so. Yeah, so you basically had to redesign it to keep it in the engine bay with the throttle body. Uh, you have it pointed downwards, because now this is gonna go straight. Direct line in with your intercooler. Nice. We're gonna then, backdoor the intercooler, so we're gonna change this and come out into the throttle body from there. So this is gonna be a straight shot, dude. Yep. That's gonna be sick. There it is. Yeah, so he's gonna alter this a little bit and make it a back door so it just points directly at the throttle body. It's got one nice little straight shot up to the intake manifold and right hell yeah. Motor. Should have zero flow issues. So once that's all done, he has some um, custom piping and stuff that he has to make for the turbo. Tie the turbo into the intercooler, and then we have to design us a pipe to go around for the lower radiator hose. Oh, Across you're going to make a hard line for this? Yep, just put a coupling there. And then it's going to come down to like that. here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then after that, you're pretty much done, right? Pretty much done. Then it's going to be off to Cody's house to go get the wiring all finished up. The guy that's doing all the wiring and stuff for um, 
for Shiloh on his car, like he, he doesn't live anywhere near the shop. So it's hard for him to get down here and actually put the work in on the wiring that it, you know, what it needs in order to get it done. So uh, once Paul gets all his fab work and everything done, it's gonna be actually going to his house so that whenever he has time, you know, on the weekends after work, because he's he's just like all of us, man. He's got a day job, he's got a he's got a tend to family and everything else. But once it gets to his house, it's gonna be a lot easier to get the wiring all finished up. That and would, that, that should be the only thing st uh, stopping us from starting it. Everything else will be done, ready to start. So once wiring's done, they can fire it up. Nice. Yeah. So once Paul's done with the the, the remaining stuff that he has to fab up, then the wiring. And then this thing's ready for its first start, man. Um, I know you guys are definitely excited for that. I know I am. I know we all are, man. Uh, Shiloh has put a lot of time into this. Uh, Paul, Sick Industries, his son. These guys have most certainly put a lot of time into this car. And yeah, I can't wait to see it finished. But anyhow, that's your guys' update on the 2J. I'm not gonna get too terribly into it. I hate doing that whenever Shiloh's not here. I mean, it's his baby, you know what I'm saying? I would like for him to be here and actually give you guys a walk around of everything he's done. But for now, that's a little a little touch on the 2J. And now we gotta go to the mall. If you guys didn't know this, Paul is like a Volkswagen and Audi expert, man. That's, that's what he loves, that's his passion. He loves Volkswagen and Audi. Um, he also likes BMWs, but anyhow, one of these days, I do wanna drop Skipper off and let him kinda just go over it and see what he can figure out because this car, Dude, it drives really well. And the thing is, is like, sometimes this thing has like some get up and go, bro. Like it, it's got a decent amount of, of pull to it. You know what I'm saying? But then other times it just doesn't. I don't know, it just, to me, I could tell it's not 100% healthy. Like there's, there's little things going on with it. Little weird noises and stuff that it makes. And um, I don't know, bro. I honestly don't know. Um, I wouldn't even know where it, to begin to start looking to figure it out but Paul I know for sure definitely knows his shit around this car so one of these days because I, I definitely want it to be very well squared away by the time Hannah gets her license and she starts driving this on a daily basis back and forth to school because uh, I don't want her to have any problems with it bro you know what I mean but anyhow we made it to the mall and if you guys know anything about West Phoenix, or if you live in West Phoenix, you know the saying, you must be high to shop at Desert Sky. <laughs> Such a pretty car. Definitely needs to be clean though. Dirty girl. This thing would definitely be sick as fuck, man. I'll use this as a daily driver, shit. Shirts are acquired. I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys already in this video or not, but I get, I buy all my shirts at the mall. Uh, so these are all the shirts for you guys, for all the orders. And when I'm here, I love getting myself a boba. This is the Terra. Um, I think it's like a, a blueberry coconut or something. I don't know, but it's pretty freaking bomb. I definitely highly recommend it. Hey y'all guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and close the video out here. Uh, that was pretty much my day. I uh, got the shirts. Um, the only thing I have left to do now before I go home is I gotta go to Walmart and go get some more envelopes for the stickers because um, I ran out of freaking envelopes. But I got the alternator and I got some packages coming from Amazon, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. So wish me luck. Uh, my, my intentions are to get as much done on the Civic this weekend as I possibly can because I've lost so much time, bro. I've been sick all week long. And the worst part about it is I had vacation time, but now I have to use my vacation time to cover uh, this week that I've been off, that I've been sick. 
and honestly I was I was kind of saving my vacation for towards the end if I needed to take a few days to just kind of go hard on the Civic so not only did I lose an entire week I lost an entire week and I've also now used my damn vacation time <laughs> Jesus and I still feel like crap, dude, but I feel good enough that I should be able to get out in the garage and do some work this weekend. So don't forget to get entered in for the giveaway. Grab yourself a t-shirt and some stickers down below. Uh, it helps out tremendously, man. Everything that you guys buy obviously helps out towards the Khaki Civic. I've actually already ordered a few things for the car that we needed, and I'll go over that stuff whenever it comes in. But um, if it wasn't for you guys ordering stuff and everything, I wouldn't be able to afford them, you know what I mean? So uh, we have until the 1st. So you still have, I think, a couple weeks left to get entered to win, to be able to win the drill set and everything. So make sure to check out the links down below. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to get home. I got to go down a bottle of day, Quill. Peace out. I'll see you guys on Monday. For sure, I'll see you guys on Monday. Hopefully with a whole lot of updates for the Civic. You know what I mean? Peace.